Welcome to Vanilla's Kitchen and thank you for joining me. What I'm going to be making for you today is blueberry cobbler. Now I'll explain some of the ingredients that we're going to be using for our blueberry cobbler. So for the bottom, uh, which is the base, um, we're going to be using two and a half, uh, three cups to three and a half cups of blueberries, fresh or frozen. We're going to be using a teaspoonful of lemon and zest. And we're going to be using a cup of sugar and a tablespoonful of flour. And for the topping of our blueberry cobbler, it'll be two cups of flour, one cup of butter, half a cup of sugar, a cup of thick cream or carnation milk, two large eggs, two, two teaspoonfuls of baking powder, a teaspoonful of vanilla, and a pinch of salt. What we're going to do now, we're going to start with our bottom base of our blueberry cobbler which is the three three to three and a half cups of blueberries and these are frozen but I picked them last summer and frozen them fresh and so we got that we're going to be putting in the tablespoonful of flour and we're going to be adding in the cup of sugar so before I put the lemon zest and the the lemon I'm going to toss this together just as it's all blended and now I'm going to top it with the teaspoonful of lemon and the lemon zest and it's important to get th that in there because it, it just helps with flavor. I'm going to toss this together again. I heard my oven beeping so I preheat your oven to 350 and it's nice to have that ready to go. Okay so this is our, is our bottom. Okay, so now in our, um, I got a nine inch round pan. You could use um, a square eight inch pan and you're gonna put all of your blueberries and the mixture into the bottom. Just spread it over nicely and just put to the side and then we'll get started on our topping. Okay, now so we'll do our topping, which is our batter. It's uh, one cup of butter and room temperature butter if you can get it and if it's not you can just soak it for a few minutes just to soften it and half a cup of sugar so what we're going to do now is blend that together now getting back to our filling um, our blueberries uh, we want you want to make sure you pre-grease your pan before you put your blueberries down into it because when uh, this batter goes on the top you will see that it'll go down through you don't want it to stick so cream it all together so it looks something like this. Okay, it's coming along nice here now. So what we're going to do, we're going to add the other toppings. We're going to put the cup of cream and we're going to put our teaspoonful of vanilla that over there and blend this in there as well. And now I'm going to put the eggs into another little container and blend them together. Okay, so that's the two eggs. So I'm gonna blend these together, not overbeat them because if the only is just be mixed together. I like to do that to make sure they're mixed well. So add that into that the mixture as well. So keep stirring this until it starts to incorporate. So it's not gonna totally because the liquid sometimes don't want to mix well with the butter until you put the flour and the baking powder in with it. So just keep mixing it for just a little bit. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to sift in our flour and our salt and baking powder. So just put our flour there first. Two teaspoonfuls of baking powder. Make sure it's all in there. And a pinch of sea salt. You can use regular salt, but I prefer to use sea salt. And I'm going to sift all of these ingredients together into my bowl. Okay, so now we get all of that sift together. Just put this off to the side. Now we'll start mixing it in, just folding it together, because like you don't need to overbeat this, just folding it together until all of your mixture uh, com comes into a batter. Okay, so this is coming along nice there now. So all this is mixed. We don't need to do no more than that with it. So what we're going to do now is start spreading it over the top of our blueberries. 
Okay, so now we're going to start scooping our batter over the top of our blueberries. Okay, so we'll try that bit first. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start spreading it out on top of the blueberries, making sure all the blueberries are covered. Um, when it starts to bake, of course your blueberries is going to start cooking and bubbling and you're going to get a lot of liquid. Uh, you probably want to put your pan on a cookie sheet so that it don't come over and go into your uh, oven and well burn in there. So uh, just keep that in mind. Okay, so I'm going to take this last little bit from our bowl and spread this over. So we're going to be cooking this on a 350 degree oven for 40 minutes or until golden brown, depending on your oven, because again, it, your oven might vary uh, when it comes to baking things. Um, when it's completed, take it out, let it sit for a little while. Don't, uh, don't cut into it right away. Okay, so this is what it looks like. We'll put it into our oven and meet me back here in 40 minutes. Okay, welcome back to Bonita's Kitchen. Our blueberry cobbler is done. Um, I'm not going to cut it uh, because uh, what we need to do right now is let it rest. So 40 minutes, 45 minutes, depending on your oven, uh, are to golden brown. Test it with a, a fork or a knife. So what we'll do after it comes out of the oven, we want to cover it with some foil wrap, nice and tight, keep it all so the steam is going to stay in for about 20 minutes or so. So while we're waiting, I'll show you one that I already had cooked. Okay, so now this is one that I had baked prior to. It looks absolutely delicious. It smells delicious in air. I'm going to top it with a cream. Now, I'm, I don't want to be promoting cr cr any kind of cream, but we use traditionally in Newfoundland a canned cream that you would have to to blend together by shaking it. So I'm going to put a nice dollop on each piece and this would abs be absolutely delicious with this on there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is have a little taste of this pie, this blueberry cobbler. Mmm, absolutely delicious. So this is a dish that we would traditionally make um, any time, any season of course, but please try this blueberry cobbler and um, share it, the recipe with your family and friends. Subscribe to Bonita's Kitchen, you'll see it up in the top right hand corner, uh, post it on YouTube and in under it will give you the recipe of this dish. Uh, and also subscribe to my email list and you will get an email from me each time I put a new recipe on there. Again, simple recipe. Um, I can't wait to get into this fresh one over here. Thank you for joining me for Body This Kitchen. Please try this recipe and you have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.